normal. Whoa. Seemed very normal, very undifferent than the rest of her world that she was used to. Until she saw the tree. It's large, rich leaves. It's strong, long branches that stretched, that reached out toward her. As she moved closer, she discovered the fruit that she had heard about. And each fruit was large. It was a significant size, and it was almost big enough for two people to eat. And it was beautiful. On closer inspection, she saw that it looked, it looked soft. And it had, it had dark sunset tones infused with red, uh, an almost crimson colored band that swirled around the fruit. Beautiful, really. You know, and if you could have asked her later, she might have said that the scent of the fruit and of the tree itself was just as overpowering her sense of smell as the sheer beauty of the fruit overpowered her sight. She, well, forget everything that the snake had said. The fruit was beautiful. It looked good. It smelled delicious. And as she reached for it, she suddenly felt her heart beating a lot faster than she was used to, and her stomach was tight. Her hand started to shake, and she looked around to see if anyone, if Adam or God might be watching, maybe they would stop her, she hoped. Why was she doing this? Why was she here? But before she knew it, she had one of the fruit in her hand. Oh, it was soft. And the skin felt very delicate. It, it had this soft, leathery feel, and, but it felt very thin, like, like the skin could be broken into very easily. And it was heavy with juice. She could feel its weight. And the Bible records that the woman saw that the fruit was good for food and that it was a delight in her eyes. I wonder what it's like. And she took the bite and it was as, just as good as she had thought it would be. It was delicious. It was incredible. It was completely different than anything she had ever tasted in the, in the whole of the garden before. And juicy. It spilled down the sides of the fruit and stained her fingers with its blood red juice. It wasn't until she had given it to her beloved that she knew, that they both knew that the life that they had lived before with God, they could never go back to. The things as they were, were never to be the same again. Because the serpent was right. They tasted and they knew. You shall surely die. Those words kept echoing in their mind, die. After hiding and trying to cover up their lost innocence, after frustration and anger for the first time entered their thoughts, and regret and guilt overwhelmed them, God came to them. 